Hey everyone, I hope this video finds you well and rested and having a really, really wonderful week. If you are new here, welcome, welcome, welcome. If you like planning and organization, lifestyle, home decor, luxury reviews, skincare, this channel's for you, my friend. So click that little red subscribe button and join the family. Um, much requested was a new plan with me video. So as you know from my last plan with me video, I've been trying to incorporate a few more stickers within the Hobonichi. Not a lot. I'm pretty minimal with my planning and like lots of white space to write. But I have been looking into finding some more stickers to try out um, and bring reviews because we all know if you use a Hobonichi, it is really hard to find stickers that fit. So I haven't tested any of these out yet, but through plan with me videos, I'm going to, and we're gonna dive into one set today. And I also have some things that I'm doing with my graphic image notebook that I think you guys will really like, and it's really working for me. Um, so let's go ahead and talk about these stickers I found. This brand called Buzzy B at E. BB? I don't know. I'll link them down below, but it's an Etsy shop. And she had a couple different color schemes. I just went with this multicolor scheme for one set and it has just a really graphic geometric design and some banners. Then I also got this gold and black set. I don't know how I feel about them yet. It's a little Harlequin for me. Um, so I don't know if I love them. And then I did find this yellowish and grayish blue scheme. It's a bunch of rectangle stickers, some banners, some flags. Um, and that's the one we're gonna work with today because it's the color scheme that I enjoy the most. So we're going to dive into these, see how they work, and then if they work really well for the Hobonichi, you have another set of stickers that you can start using. But before we talk about that, I also wanna mention a couple other planner favorites that I absolutely love and continue to use. Can we talk about these pens? They are in my February favorites video. I will link it down below, but these Microline pens off of Amazon are absolutely outstanding. What I love is they give you a range of colors, but basically all that I've been using in my Hobonichi is black, and it gives you five different tip sizes in the black. They don't bleed through on the Hobonichi paper, but they do bleed through on other paper. It's just gonna depend on your quality. So I can't tell you that they're bleed proof because I've had a couple experiences with them. And then the two things that were in my last Plan With Me video, but I have really, really enjoyed them immensely, is the top three card from Sessa V, where you could put like three highlights from your week in it. I'll show you how I arrange that in my Hobonichi. And then lastly, the seven everyday cards. They're a habit tracker where you can actually fill in what you wanna do and check off each day of the week that you do it. Really enjoy these as well. With that, I'm gonna move the camera around and we are gonna get into the planning and I can't wait to show you what I've been doing with my graphic image notebooks at the back of my desk agenda. So let's get planning. So the first thing I start with my Hobonichi every time you guys could answer this for me is some washi tape. Like I said, I like to keep it pretty minimal um, and I don't like a lot going on. So I just simply put two pieces of washi tape down the sides of my planner. So, now that that's done, I go and put in my banner stickers because those are the things that I know need to take priority within the space of the agenda. So I'm just gonna go in with my sugar paper planner stickers. And like I said, these fit really well. There is a little bit of overlap, but really at the end of the day, that's okay. So basically those are all my main headings. Now I'm just simply going to go in and fill in some space with these stickers that I bought. I'm leaving for my work trip and I'm actually going into New Jersey for this trip. Friday and Saturday, I'm going to be in like planning sessions most of the day. So I'm actually just going to block those days off with the same exact washi tape. So that is the week. I would go ahead and jump into um, 
how I set up my daily pages in my Hobonichi, but I'm just gonna link my video down below because it hasn't changed and why waste your time? Now that this is set up, I wanna talk about how I use the, the Sessa V top three and the everyday. For the top three, what I've been doing, and I have found it to work really, really well for me, is I set it along this one border, and you could do this in any planner. I run a piece of washi along that edge. What I love is once that's in, I can flip it back and forth between the two days and fill out my three highlights. What I do with my daily seven, it is week of three, six, and I always do the same things. Read, meditate, devotions, work out, meet, water goal, meet, step goal. And I just take a paper clip and I just clip in my daily seven. do want to show you is something I've been doing with my graphic image notebooks that I have been loving. So I would just simply mark this as the week. And now what I have been doing is I've been going through and making boxes and then I'll explain the boxes to you. So what I have done here is set up some boxes within my graphic image notebook. What I call these, I've been calling these my people boxes. What I have been doing because I realized that throughout the day, either based on one meeting or another, I'd be like, oh, I need to remember to tell so-and-so blank. And I never had a place to write it. So what would end up happening is it just kept getting written on like various pieces of scrap paper um, or post-its that were on my desk. And I realized it wasn't an efficient or organized way to manage that task. And I figured there had to be something way easier and of course, there is. What I do is set up these boxes. I would go in and finish filling in the stickers, but for the sake of time, I now assign a box to every single person. As the week goes, when I think of something that I need to tell, like one of these particular people, I go and put it in their box. So when I'm meeting with them, I can go to their box and be like, these were the top things that I really needed to remember to tell them. Now, I realize that some of you don't meet with 13 people a week that you have to remember to tell things, but I think this works for families. Important dates, you could assign every person in the family a box, and you can remember like different appointments or different events for each of those individual people. Assign them a box. That way, you have a place to document and record the things that you need to remember to tell them. Because I don't know about you, but I go up to so many people, I'm like, I have something to tell you, but I've already forgotten it. I've really been loving this and it's really working for me and I hope it works for you. If you enjoyed the video, I hope that it was helpful. I know everyone plans a little differently and I know how challenging the Hobonichi can be sometimes. If you are not already, please follow me on Instagram. I'll leave my handle down here below. I'm going to start posting some pictures of my planners throughout the week so you can see the progression. So I will leave this video like I leave all of my videos. Take care of yourself, take care of others, and be kind. Kindness is free. Give it to everyone. Until next time, bye-bye.